What is up guys, Card Talker here, and today I'm here with another joint deck file. Today we'll be going over the um, Rosemont deck from BT13. So, this deck is uh, not as good as Blue Lord in my opinion, but it does have potential. Uh, mainly just because Mirage Gagamon and Shankarimon got support pretty recently, and we haven't actually have Rosemon support, like with the Rosemon Digimon, in quite a while. So we aren't able to maximize the level 6 Rosemons in this build, and we have to kind of rely on the Bloom Lord Hydra Sea engine. But uh, I think later on, if we get a little bit more Rosemon cards, like perhaps from Digimon Adventure, maybe we'll be able to make this deck a lot more solid. But even even now, it's it's, it's still pretty good, but it's not as good as a full-on Blue Lord deck, in my opinion. So let's get right into the deck. Uh, so for the Digimon, we're running four of the Jokomon. So whenever one of your Digimon is vested, you can draw one. So it's, this is your main draw engine. Um, next, for the level sevens, we're running three of the Rosemon Burst Mode. Uh, right now, I'm, th I'm starting to think three is a little bit, bit much uh, for this deck just because we only have run, running, running four Rosemonds in the deck, and um, sometimes you just might have too many of these hands while while you don't have enough Rosemonds in your hand. But you can just do a regular evolution on this, so it's not that bad. But so trying this out, sometimes I might see this too much in my hand, but sometimes when I'm not running three, I don't see this enough in my hand. So uh, still debating on the actual ratios, but I think three is is fine for now. So on evolution, you'll be able to. Uh, rest uh, a Digimon and a Tamer, uh, one of your opponent's Digimon and Tamer, and then all of your opponent's Digimons and Tamers can't unsuspend during the, until the end of their turn. So this is a pretty good stun card. And then on attack, um, for every rested opponent's Digimon and Tamer, every two, sorry, every two opponent's opponent Digimon and Tamer, you can trash a card in their security. So why I like this more about Blue Lord is you don't actually need to attack their security. Like you can, you don't need to rely on attacking their security. So you can trash security instead, which is really, really good against Shangri Mo matchups. So this is where Rosemont is better than Blue Lord in, but uh, you, we're gonna have to go into this uh, Rose, uh, burst mode first. So, all right, next we're running four of the Rosemonts from BT13. On evolution, you can rest one opponent's Digimons or Tamers, and then you can unsuspend this Digimon, which is really, really good. And then on both players' turns, whenever a opponent's Digimon is uh, rested, Digimon, yeah, Digimon Tamer rested, then you can uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. So pretty much when they attack, you can rest something else. So this is a pretty good floodgate card. Just stops them from uh, pummeling you. Yeah. Uh, next, we are running two Hydro uh, Hydromons, Hydro Seas. So, we're running two of these. This is mainly, mainly your control card. If you if your opponent has a lot of cards on the board that you can't solve, this card will be here to stall. Uh, alternatively, you can run Blue Mords instead, but I think Blue Mords' purpose in this deck is very similar to your burst modes. So, I'm not running the Blue Mords just now, uh, just yet. But the the, the Hydromons kind of serve a different purpose. They're used to bottom deck your opponent's Digimon. So I'm running two of these instead, just just to help me out until I can get my win con out, which is uh, Rosemon. Uh, next, we are running two of the Blossomons and two of the Ajatarmon. So this one is just Digi's option to get your free Evos. Uh, what you can do is just digisorb into this one, and then digivolve into your Rosemon afterwards, and then you can unsuspend it. So you'll be able to use it for if you have enough memory, you can use it either use it for another attack, or you can use it for a uh, extender to go into your burst mode. The Agitarmon is just to help you suspend one of your green Digimon, and then when you do that, you can play a three cost or less. Uh, vegetation or fairy type from your hand without paying its cost. And then the inherent skill is whenever one of your Digimon becomes suspended, uh, you can get one memory back. So, pretty solid. You can use this to just swarm the field with uh, plants and fairies. 
and then you can use them for either digisorping digi digi or for attackers next turn. But they do come in. Um, uh, they, they do. They, they can't attack on the first turn they're played, so you have to prepare it. Or you can just digivolve on top of it, so you can get some extra draws or set up for other plays. But yeah, this card's pretty solid. I might bump this up to three, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. All right, next we're running four Lilamons. I might bump this down to three and just get another uh, Echitaramon, but I think four is pretty good just because you can get the free Tamer play so that you can go into your burst modes a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I think I think uh, four is fine for now, and the inherent skill to get extra security check is also very solid. So, and the, the, the good thing about the Lilamon is uh, if you have a Yoshino on the field, you can still play a Yoshino, unlike those uh, level 4s that only let you play your Tamers if you don't have one on the field already. So you can have, you can use this to get a lot of Yoshinos on the field so you can reduce your cost by a lot. So, very good. Next for level 4 is running 4 of the Sinfloramon from BT10. This one helps you play, uh, on Evolution you can rest one of your Digimon and then you can play one of your berries or plants or vegetations from your hand for free. That's 3 here or less. And the Harris skills just as you draw. So, pretty good. Next, we're running uh, four of the Sunfloramon from BT13. So, by suspending this Digimon, you can Digivolve into one of your Digimon with Fairy type from your traits uh, by paying its digi Digivolution cost. But if you do so, you can reduce the cost by two. So, mainly, you're going to be using this in conjunction with the. Uh, Lilamon. So you'll be digivolving to Lilamon for one, which is very good. The hair skill also is also pretty good. Uh, when this card would digivolve, you can, if you have a green tamer in play, you can reduce the cost by one. So you'll be digivolving into your Rosemons for for two. And if you have any Yoshinos on the field, you can re further reduce the cost. Next, we're running four of the Red Vegemon. Uh, this is here just because it's a one cost Evo, and you can pump this out with your uh, calling effects, your, your your demon play effects, just because it's three cost, uh, level three thousand power or less uh, vegetation card. So very good card to have right now, and it, I'll probably just keep running this until I have a better alternative. Next, for the level 3s, we're running 4 of the Palmon. Uh, this is Searcher, helps you search for your your um, vegetation and fairy types. So it's pretty good. And we're running 4 of the Lalamon from BT13. This helps you search for your Yoshino and your plant and fairies and vegetations. So, uh, sorry, if I wasn't more clear, the Palmon helps you search for a plant or vegetation and a fairy. So you can grab two potentially with Palmon, uh, but whereas the Palmon helps you grab any of those three and then a Yoshino. So these are very good, very solid searches uh, in, in, in my opinion, especially since you can play them for free and still get searches out. So you can dig through your pieces very fast Next, we're running four Pomomon. This is the one that uh, stops your opponent from playing Digimon with effects. So this is just here to stop your opponent's uh, Omnimons and Purges, just stopping Roll Knights. Uh, if you, if there's not any Roll Knights in your locals, you can swap this out for other Floodgates like Terriermons. So, yeah, really up to you. Next. There are our tech options. Uh, we're running one Terriamon. Uh, again, if you want to bump this down to th three or two, you can replace them with Terriamons. And the other one we're running is the Floramon from the promo pack. So this is here to help you stun your opponent. Uh, sometimes when you don't have the right stun, this card is in your hand and you can use it to stun instead. If you have more of these, you can bump these up to two as well. So you can potentially run two. 2-2, two, two, so just two of each is an option. But I feel like your burst modes, are, if you can go into your burst mode, you do, you're already stunned enough. So 
this is a little bit redundant if you already have the burst mode on the field, but nice option to have when you don't have it. So next let's move on to Tamers, We're running four Yoshinos, uh, running these just because you want to cheat out your burst mode and you want to have a target for uh, your Lilamons. I, do, I know some people run uh, BBs as well. I don't have space for it, but you might want to, if you don't like uh, this at 4, you can kind of adjust your level 3 ratios to make space for a Mimi. We're also running uh, 2 green memory boosts and 1 hidden potential unleashed. This will come in really handy sometimes, so just running this at 1. Uh, this is <laughs> restricted to 1, so can't run, run, can't run more if you, even if you want to do. But yeah, this deck... Um, it's, fu it's fun, it's solid, and it can be a rogue deck in this current format. But I feel like if you're looking for decks that can burst down your opponent faster, there's better options out in the current format. But nonetheless, this deck is still pretty pretty good. It's a solid build, and it's quite consistent, actually. There's a lot of searches in the deck, so you can go into your go up your uh, Digimon chains quite consistently, and... Yeah, this deck doesn't really brick all that often. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this deck, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to use the affiliate links down below. But that's Card Haku, and I'll see you guys next time for more Digimon content. Uh, stay tuned for the matches coming up soon. I think I only have like two or three more decks left for this format, and then we can go full on uh, matches. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.